Emily's Idea, written by Christine Evans, illustrated by Marta Alvarez McGuinz. Emily's idea started small. Many beautiful ideas do. She folded, doodled, and snipped. But also, like many ideas, Emily's small idea grew until her room was alive with pattern and color. On sheer day, Emily's paper dolls inspired Miss Tate and room 6B. So everyone folded, doodled, and snipped. Each doll was different, but the same. Her small idea had grown bigger than she was, bigger than she ever imagined. It was a connection between Luca and Evelyn, between Annabelle and Nico, between Leah and Henry. And still, Emily's idea grew. Chains hung in the bakery, in the hair salon, even in the post office. Emily's idea flew from coast to coast and floated across the ocean. Friends and strangers joined hands across bridges and town squares, beneath subways and bus shelters. Some people didn't understand. They ripped, belittled, destroyed. But Emily's idea kept growing. Dolls adorned houses, shops, and schools. Stations, trees, and yards. Each doll was different, but the same. Emily stuck each story in her scrapbook. Hands holding hands in Japan and Australia, Qatar and Iceland, South Africa and Mexico, Emily felt fluttery, just like a paper doll in the wind. On the last day of school, Emily hugged her bulging scrapbook. Miss Tate had a surprise, a parcel adorned with beautiful stamps. Emily ripped. Paper dolls could stay into her lap. Each doll was different, but the same, just like us.